David Harris, professional dog trainer, and today we're going to talk about rare breeds and essentially why are they rare. I get a lot of calls. I've been in the industry for 30 years. I develop training uh, protection dogs, personal protection dogs, military dogs, police dogs, obedience dogs, agility dogs. I develop all types of dogs for clients all over the world. And just about on a daily basis, I get a call from a client wanting a rare breed developed and trained for a very specific purpose. And one of the things I always tell people to do is to go onto YouTube. YouTube is an amazing tool for finding quality video of the dog that you're interested in actually doing the work. And very quickly they find out there there are very, very little, if any, video of this rare breed doing the work. Now, why is that? Uh, because they can't do the work. They call I call them other breeds for a reason. There are German Shepherds and there are other breeds. Now, obviously I'm biased for German Shepherds. I've been training and developing and breeding my own German Shepherds for three decades. But uh, there are other working breeds that are gonna have a lot of video out there. Dobermans, Rottweilers, Malinois. So there are breeds that you will find that can do the work but if you're looking to do something rare try to find video of that rare breed working and I think what you're gonna find is little or nothing let's just use white German Shepherds for example I get calls all the time I want a white German Shepherd I need a personal protection dog and, and, and I want a white one well find me some video of a white German Shepherd doing this work there's a few but I'm talking a few if you Google just German Shepherd doing protection work, you're gonna find millions of videos of those dogs doing that work. Why is that? Because they're good at it. They were bred for that purpose. Okay, so no matter what the breed is, you wanna look, you wanna see, you want proof of their ability to do that work. And if some dog is good at something, whatever it is that you're looking for in that dog, good with kids, good with agility, loves to swim, calm, loves to hike, loves to camp, Whatever it is that you're looking for in a, in a companion dog and a protection dog, you'll be able to see that on YouTube because someone shot video of that dog doing that work. And if you can't find that video, there's a reason. Rare dogs are rare for a reason. They're not very good at doing this. So I'm not trying to discourage you from getting a rare breed. What I'm trying to tell you is be mindful that that rare breed is rare for a reason. <laughs> and popular breeds are not always popular because they're the best. They're popular for other reasons. Maybe they were in a movie. Malinois have taken a big surge in popularity because of recent movies featuring Malinois. Does that mean a Malinois is perfect for you? Unlikely. Dobermans have been popular in the past because of movies. Dalmatians were popular because of movies. There's a lot of reasons a breed will become popular, but there's a tremendous amount of information on the internet about all these different breeds. One of the things you want to stay away from is breeder bias. If you're looking at a, a Rottweiler and you talk to Rottweiler breeders, they're going to tell you all the wonderful things about those. Talk to trainers. Trainers know the bad parts of the, of the breed because people bring us the bad ones. I rarely get to see the good ones. They always bring us the bad ones and ask us to fix it. But we do get to see good ones as well, and over a long period of time, we get to form an overall opinion of dogs and breeds. I personally had my hands on 127 different purebred dogs and trained and titled in competition about 22, 23 of those different breeds. So I've worked with them, raised them, trained them from puppies, know a lot about the different breeds and God only knows how many thousands of different types of mixed breed dogs. But today we're talking about rare breeds. Why are they rare? They're rare for a reason. Beware. Not only do they come with very specific temperament types, but a lot of times they come packed full of health issues as well. So take your time, do some research, and find the right dog for your situation. Forget about looks. Think about temperament.